What's up guys, welcome to part two with Vito's Revenge. Uh, if you missed part one, please go check that one out. Uh, it was a really, really nice one. We we got two out of the three wins, uh, which is perfectly fine. I think the, the last matchup was not amazing for us. Uh, unfortunately, they just kind of outpowered us and we didn't have much to do about it. But uh, we've, we've had fairly good luck with this list and I really like this one. So uh, do we keep this hand is the question. It's a little bit weird, but with Temple of Silence, I think we can try it. Uh, I apologize if the frame rate's a little bad. Um, I think it will be okay. Ooh, does that change things? No, actually, I don't think it does. Uh, it just kind of makes things easier. Uh, let's keep Vito. Um, feeling good about that. Uh, what's nice about this deck is, you know, we do need to get to the revenge side of things, which is six mana, but most of the deck is three or below, which makes it really, really easy to just go ham uh, with not very many lands. And I like that a lot. Uh, let's play Godless Shrine and let's just go ahead and play this. Uh, oh, I'm silly. We already had a Vito in hand. That was bad. That was a bad keep on top. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, we do get the uh, the flyer out here if we'd like to. Let's get this down. Um, hmm. Let's get Vito down. Expecting that this is going to get killed, probably. Uh, but that's perfectly fine. It gives us a, something to block this if it attacks in. Um, and if they attack him with both, chances are they've got a kill spell anyway, so uh, we will go ahead and block these. Oh, let's try it. This goes to the graveyard. I'm sure they can bring that back, and that's fine. That's kind of the idea behind this deck, I'm sure. Yeah, that's cool. Very, very cool. Um, let's play this. Uh, let's play this. Uh, just to get another another creature in here um, and then next turn we'll revitalize get a 2-2 two, two, hit them for three and then obviously we'll be dealing some damage here so hopefully we will be okay if we can get to revenge standpoint I mean we need one more land and we're in pretty good shape there um, this is also a situation where if they kill veto next turn we play land play veto play revitalize yep and that's perfectly fine uh, this just gives us the best options I think possible, uh, which I'm perfectly happy with. I'm gonna take a big hit here. That's fine. Uh, ooh, that's a rough one though. Uh, let's do this. Let's hit revitalize. That's very helpful because again, that's gonna get us to the right territory here. Um, uh, do we attack? Mm -mm. I'm gonna say no. Just in case, whoops, there we go. Uh, so now we get a 2-2 two, two and hit them for three. Um, I think this is quite good. And then we can revenge next turn with Vito out uh, and get more, more damage in. So we'll see if this works, but I feel pretty good about it. Uh, let's do this. Um, do we try and kill this? <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. Um, hmm. Let's try it. I might be wrong because they probably have uh, the Call of the Death Dweller still, but um, I do want to negate some damage if we can and double our life total with revenge is going to be really good. Hopefully they just don't have a removal spell, but yeah, that's what I figured. So now they get another demon, um, which is good. Uh, hopefully though, I think we might be able to do something here. They're gaining a bunch of life though, I don't like that. Uh, ooh, Murderous Rider is quite good. Um, let's do this. Down to one. Um, if we attack here, they just block with one of these guys, so that doesn't really matter. So I'm going to say no attacks. We get a 2-2. Two, two. They are down to one now, which is good. I mean, that's really, really good for us. Yep, that makes sense. Kill Vito. I was going to say, they don't... They shouldn't attack with everything here. <laughs> um, do we block this? I'm going to say no. Uh, this leaves us the out of if we draw, which we didn't, unfortunately. But if we had drawn another Murderous Rider, we would have been in really, really good shape there. We'll keep that on top. Um, we're going to go ahead and kill a demon here. Um, 
And I think we'll just go ahead and play this out. Uh, and no attacks. We're playing a bit defensively here, and that's exactly where we need to be, unfortunately. Uh, as much as that kind of sucks, that's just what we have to do. Revitalize is going to help us hopefully draw some more cards, but then also uh, deal some damage to them, maybe, uh, if we can get more stuff going. Um, hmm. Mm -mm. What do we want to do? Do we want to kill the Mire Triton is the question. I'm going to say yeah. Uh, no, it has Menace. We're not going to do that. Um, Alright, let's revitalize first. <laughs> Unfortunately, drawing a lot of land. Um, let's play one of these guys out. Let's go ahead and do this because we, we need to draw some stuff here. Unfortunately, that's not going to do much. Um, hmm. We get a 2-2, though. That's nice. We can now start kind of just chump blocking some of these things, or trading, I should say, with some of these, uh, which I think is worthwhile. Um, rise from the grave. Wow, Massacre Worm. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Um, do we just lose? We do, right? Yep. Man. Very cool deck. Really, really cool deck. Unfortunately, they just... Man, that was actually a closer match than I thought it would be, but man, that was really, really good. Um, cool. Well, that's fine. Let's jump into game two. Feeling okay about it still. I think, um, I don't think we played too incorrectly. Maybe we could have done things a little bit differently, but you always got to look at, you know, what you could have done and maybe you would have been in a, a better position, maybe not, but that was just a good, good call on the opponent's side. Um, I think given a sideboard like best two out of three, this deck does a lot better um, because you can kind of pull like in that instance, you could pull like Leyline of the Voids in or, you know, something along those lines. That would have been very, very good. Um, a lot of three drops in this hand. Um, hmm. Let's try it. Um, we do have all the mana we could need, but it's just a matter of we don't have a whole lot to, to do with it all. Uh, we'll throw a Godless Shrine out. Good news is, uh, do we have a lot of good news, to be honest? This is going to be a rough matchup, I bet. Um, they get to deal quite a good bit of damage to us. Okay, uh, that's helpful. I mean, that that's pretty good, because they do probably need to burn this out, or we will probably just trade off with it. Okay. Eating a burn spell is very helpful, so that's fine. Uh, this this is a really nice little two-card kind of combo going on. Uh, this little guy from the new set is really good. Uh, I don't like that that's in the deck, but that's fine. Uh, let's do this. We're going to Murderous Rider this, because we really just can't take but so much damage here. Um, I know we're taking two to do that, but we're going to take a heck of a lot more if we don't kill that. Um, next turn... I honestly don't know what we're gonna do. We'll we'll figure it out. That's a problem as well. These all proc off of each other, which is very good. Um, that's helpful, to be honest. Uh, yeah, let's play this out. This kind of halts it a little bit. I mean, this gets to attack in if they still attack with this, but I don't know. Oh my goodness, they are just piling on the damage. Piling, piling, piling. Uh, yeah. That's so good. That is so, so good. Um, I'm going to say no blocks. This is dangerous, but I don't know. I think we might just end up losing this one, but that's fine. Uh, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. And let's do this. Unfortunately, we just had a slow start here. This was probably a bad keep, but we did have all the lands we could have asked for, so that was part of why we did that. Um, no attacks. We are going to have to block this. Oh, Calamity. I hate this card so much. To play against it is very, very rough. Yep. Did we just lose? Yeah. Man, that was rough. Those are two very quick games. All right, well... Let's jump into game three and see what we can do. Um, unfortunately, not a whole lot. We're What would be nice is to draw more like Oath of Kaya's. Um, I think we're running three Oaths. Uh, it'd be nice to maybe have a fourth in there. 
Uh, Revitalize is good, but I think Oath is clearly better, so maybe it would be one of those situations. Um, just because there's so many spell or so many creatures out that Oath of Kaya actually deals with efficiently. Um, and so I'd like to be able to get more of those, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, do we keep this? And not, this is a very interactive hand, which is good. Um, and we've got a temple. Let's let's try it. Two dual lands, one of which is going to scry and hopefully help us out a good bit here. <laughs> Repeat of the exact same list we just played against. Um, keeping Oath of Kaya's. All Oath of Kaya's are kept. Um, this is going to be another Calamity deck, which is just going to be annoying. But that's fine. Uh, Oath of Kai is going to come down and deal with some of these and gain us some life back, which is good. Um, we just have to hope they don't have a Calamity, essentially. Uh, let's put this down. Uh, this is a good card in this matchup, by the way, uh, because it's difficult to burn it out. Man, that's so annoying that they've got that. Um, it is what it is. These Calamity decks are very good. So we take four before combat even happens, then we take another three. That is a lot of damage. Um, yep. Let's do this. I'm just going to Oath. Uh, I know we could have played this out. I don't know if that's better or not. Um, we gain three and we deal with one of the biggest damage dealers that they had here. So I think that that's good. Um, we're still going to take minimum four this turn uh but we do have a follow-up oath uh and then obviously this if we need to follow that up as well so we'll see um chances are they're not playing out cards in their hand i'm guessing they've got burn in hand um i could be wrong very easily could be wrong but that's just my guess uh let's go ahead and play another oath, and we will get rid of um doesn't matter which one we keep. I'm going to get rid of this just because this is the one that can't be blocked, potentially. Um, so this narrows down their, their damage dealing output pretty significantly. Um, yep, that's fine. Revitalize. That's helpful. Uh, let's just play this out. Chances are this going to eat a burn spell. And that's fine. Uh bit frustrating if it's like a scorching dragon fire oh okay any attacks if they attack we block like 100 percent. they did not attack interesting okay let's do this maybe we have a chance let's go ahead and do this because they're going to take some damage here then um do we attack with this i'm gonna say no uh, just because now, even if they do have a burn spell for one of these, they can't really attack him. Um, so that helps us tremendously. Let's do this. We can just revenge and then deal six. Uh, and we can just win this turn. There it is. We got the win. Cool. Well, at least we got one that time. That was nice. Uh, we saw there, you just need a really interactive hand against those creature heavy decks. And I think that's the struggle with this deck is sometimes it leans really hard one way or really hard the other. Uh, and that tends to be an issue. There's no kind of middle ground with this one. Um, not that that's bad because I think being a little more all in on the strategy makes it really, uh, really easy to make it work, I guess is the best way to put it. But um, it does sacrifice, you know, how good it can be against particular decks. And so, uh, either way, I really enjoyed this one. I think this is a really strong deck right now. Uh, and like I said, I think in best two out of three, um, it could have a little bit more, uh, we'll say longevity because, uh, given a sideboard, you can be able to, you're able to pull in like ley lines, uh, to deal with the graveyards. You might be able to have sweepers in there if you needed some. Uh, depending on the decks you're against, obviously. Um, and so I, I really like this one. I think this one's fun. Definitely recommend it. This is a pretty popular deck right now, so do check it out. But uh, thank you again to It's Just Wild for kind of submitting their own version of this list. I really do appreciate it. And I think that list is interesting. We may try and play it later on, but I just wanted to credit him with uh, suggesting this style of deck. And then I kind of found a base template that I would like to have, you know, this is the one that I wanted to put out there for you guys so you can play with it. But hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next gameplay video.